Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Abijin's SketchUp Workshop. So today we are going to uh, continue working on the Frank set and thanks to my patrons we are going to work on a lot more. So let's take a look here. Uh, today's, well, today's project is a university. Now I've been looking at sources of various medieval universities and frankly they really do not fit the Age of Empires mold or vibe in any way. So we're just going to be inspired by the original Age of Empires, let's say the original Age of Empires universities and we'll see what we can get from that. So. Let's make, uh, so first, as you probably know, uh, Western European universities have those cute little towers. So, let's make them. Now, I would like to actually taper those towers a little bit. So, by reducing the shape of the upper part of the tower base, we get this bit more unique, uniquely shaped tower. Now, we're just going to extend it and voila! Tower 1, done. Okay, we're going to copy this tower from down here to be our little guide. As you can see, this tower is meant for a wall. So, this one shouldn't be much taller. Okay, now, let's just reduce the base a little bit. And, yep. Okay, let's, let's us, let us texture this one. Okay, looking good. Let's see. Uh -huh. Perfect. So we're just going to do that. Nice. All right. I'm quite happy with the tower. So remember, uh, you always take one of the buildings from before as your reference and just piece it apart and use it for other buildings. It's great for uniformity and really saves time. So don't forget. Now, again, I really hate chamfering the edges, so I like using these extra rocks on the edges to create more depth for buildings. Yeah, so what are the conventions for a Age of Empires uh, European University? So all of them have a teeny, uh, tiny pair of towers. So we're going to craft that pair of towers first. And I'm really at my wit's end as to what those towers should be like. But we'll see. Okay, we're just going to do a bit of this, a bit of that. Well, there we go. Uh, looks quite sturdy. And we're going to copy this. And, of course, we're going to remove some of the wines, because, honestly, having a lot of those is also not the smartest thing in the world. Okay, very nice. And, finally, another copy. Oh, this is tedious, but, hey. It's going to be useful because it's just going to be copied over to the next one. So, cutting production times, eh? Okay, so let's do a little bit of this. And, uh, voila! There, this is going to look great in game. I presume. And now I've been thinking about what to do with the tower. So for now, it's actually going to look quite basic. Uh, because it needs to have a Imperial Age version at one point, so I can't really unpack all of the goodness and use it only on one tower. So uh, certain elements will be... I'll keep them for the Imperial Age. 
However, even in uh, the castle age, I expect to use certain textures which will be just uh, used further to decorate in the imperial age. So uh, some of the assets used here are going to be useful for other things such as, I don't know, town centers and so on and so forth. And believe me, town centers are a major, major issue most of the time. Uh, anyway, back to the university. So I already prepared some items and some I didn't. Ooh, wow. Let me just check this. Uh, for example, some of the items I have prepared is a, a little fountain. And uh, I'm going to hopefully uh, make a little uh, shape for it. Uh, so, what kind of shape, you might ask? Well, uh, the idea is that the fountain uh, will probably receive a little animation. I'm going to first, uh, so that's going to be probably in a separate video, if I really do do it on a video. So, let's see here. Okay, let's raise the roof. Come on, roof, don't be shy. There we go. Let's find the middle point. Hop, and let's raise it a little bit more. And there we go. Now some people asked me, Hey, Abe, why don't you do the Notre Dame Cathedral you know, in memory of the cathedral? And I was really considering that. And, you know, even though it's already in, oopsie, it's already in the game, I might still do it. Who knows? So it's sometimes good to just turn around the texture. Make it go boom by exploding it. Ah, this is a nice one. There we go. And now we're going to use the assets from this roof. To make some depth here. Okay, I'm quite satisfied with the shape of this roof, but I'm not. I'm going not to spend a lot of time uh, on improving it. Uh, so basically, what improvements would I like to do on this roof? You see these tiles? I would actually like to add them to the borders, and the shiny little metal thingies, the little metal balls, should also go on top. Okay, this is one of our uh, towers. Looks quite medieval looks quite tough i have to admit but hey that's what we've got today now we have to do the main body of the university and that one is going to be a bit more difficult to figure out so we're going to use this fine bordure for the building And we're actually going to copy over the main building a little bit to the side. May have, yeah, press it here. No, no need to turn it into a model. Okay, so it's right there where we want it to be. Now let's get a roof for it. So, I'd just like to thank my Patreons again for the great support, and I would like to point out that 
uh, I would like to point out that uh, this building and other buildings will be part of the midweek update which is going to hit somewhere around hmm, Wednesday? Thursday? I'm not sure. I'll try to make it Wednesday, but if not, then Thursday uh, this building and at least two others, I hope, will be released. So some uh, people on Steam have asked me, where are the buildings? Well, here they are, being made. Patience, young Padawan. Okay, so we have created this sort of roof here. I mean, not really sort of, it's a roof. Official. I ain't lying. And I would like to use this element, which is really cute, as a sort of entrance. Just like the barracks uses it for its entrance, really. Oh, okay. This should be somewhere in the middle. Yes, it is. Let's just flip it to the other side, adjust it, and I would like to extend it if SketchUp decides to lend me a hand in doing so, and voila. There we have it. So some, some sort of basic shape for our university is already being you know, it's taking shape, really. Uh, definitely, definitely like it so far. I hope you do too. Remember, you can always comment uh, with your suggestions. If I do not add them now, I will probably add them in some sort of future update to the building. I tend to be restless and redo quite a bit of the stuff I make. Now this university is going to receive wooden windows, but I was thinking of repurposing those arches or even adding unique arches uh, which are going to represent buildings, uh, sorry, uh, roofs, uh, windows, bang, uh, windows on Imperial Age buildings. So basically all the buildings that get the revamp in the Imperial Age, they'll get it here too. There we go one window now I'm not sure if this window here is going to stick around but let's give it the benefit of doubt right. just going to put it down there and even though I'm not sure I'm going to keep it there we have crafted this fine blocky outline nice so again age of empires buildings really need every single bit of beefiness you can give them when you're making your own models so don't shy away from a few chunky blocks to the side
and always take into consideration that the building will be isometrical. Therefore, okay, I like this. Looks pretty neat. Uh, therefore, some parts of the building are, well, not really visible. And if that is so, do keep them. How should I say? If that is so, it's a good idea to keep them with fewer details, such as this side doesn't receive blocks. It reduces rendering times. Okay, uh, so we have finished up this. I'm really quite satisfied with the main building of the university. And this will be kept for later. And for this part of the tutorial video, we're just going to showcase what's going to happen with the building. Oh, it's breakfast time. How lovely. So, give me just one second to showcase this. Oh, right. And basically, uh, these will be filled in with a roof or a, some sort of walkway. Likewise for this part and there will be a fountain in the middle so of course another tower here probably shorter thank you very much for watching guys please comment and subscribe and see you next time for the second part of the video thank you